Welcome to Selho, Croatia. In today's episode, we are taking you to the southernmost part of the Croatian coast. We begin with the beauties of magical old city of Dubrovnik, sail around the Elafiti Islands and introduce you to the top quality wines of Pelješac Peninsula and a lot more. Stay with us. Undoubtedly, one of the most famous and most beautiful cities of the Mediterranean is the old city of Dubrovnik. Historians are unable to agree on the time of the city's founding. Some say that it was founded in the 7th century, but the newest investigations have confirmed the theory that the area was already settled in ancient Greek times. Regardless of these theories, Dubrovnik first appeared in written record in 850. The city is encircled by imposing two kilometers long walls. My name is Borja Buric and I'm a member of Tourist Board of Dubrovnik. It started to build in the 10th century and it finished in the 15th century. It's needed 500 years to build the, stones, the stone wall around Dubrovnik. Because you know that they are decided in the 10th century because that's what they are got in that that time was not enough good for security and they have started to build the walls around the city mm -hmm. and this wall was impressive 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 is today but not if, if, if you if you uh, if you that uh, move if you move in, in the Middle Ages mm -hmm. 500 years ago you can imagine if somebody wants to attack the public when he oh, saw the they walls, were intimidated yes, they yes, wouldn't they uh, wouldn't, there. Yes, <laughs> no chance. Dubrovnik became one of the first republics in the world in the 14th century under the name of the Republic of Dubrovnik. The rector's palace was the seat of the government and the personal residence of the rector of the Republic of Dubrovnik. Bojo, we are now in the rector's palace. Yeah. Tell us something specific about the history and the rules that were at the time. Uh, you know, this, this is the, the rector palace in Dubrovnik and uh, the rector in the former Dubrovnik Republic, he, uh, he has uh, a mandate just for one month mm -hmm. and he's elected uh, between the nobles uh, on, on, on his meeting and he's actually prisoner in a one month here. Mm -hmm. He should stay here, keep the key of the city, uh, think about uh, the state money. And something that is most important in the Bronx, it's a quote, but it's an entrance to the, to the rector palace, Obliti privatorum publica curata. Forget your privacy when you're working for a state. That's, we should That's back, wonderful rule, uh, that we could wonderful. use today. <laughs> Freedom has always been honored in Dubrovnik, and this can still be seen today on the inscription Libertas, on the flag of the Republic of Dubrovnik. Back in 1416, the Republic of Dubrovnik became the first European state to decree the abolishment of slavery and slave trafficking. Dubrovnik has a lot to be proud of, Boja. It should be, because you know, uh, when, we, when we look back to the history mm -hmm. uh, and we have a review of that, what, what, what Dubrovnik rather did, we are proud to that because we are the first state in the world that brought the law against slavery. And it was forbidden on the territory of the Republic to trade with the slaves and... Even transportation. E even transportation. And, you know, on their that, ships. That, what ships? Mm -hmm. that, you know, that, 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 that is what we think now, yes. uh, seven centuries after about that, which yes. we, will, we are proud of that, because some states that did that in the 19th century. Yes. yes. And we also have to say that the Grovnik Republic, yes. always free, yes. was also a great uh, military and naval uh, force in, That's true. That, in the that, world, in Mediterranean in the, especially. In the 15th century, it was yes. the first state in the Mediterranean because th th this is the world in, in, in that time. Yes, they had, they had the, history said that they had 40,000 sailors. Yes. Yeah. That's true. 
Yeah. And when we, when we count that uh, today, in this number, uh, the Dubrovnik was a most important state in, the, in, that, in that time in the Mediterranean. They had uh, in each state a consul and, and ever about, uh, I'm not sure, but more than 150 consuls everywhere around the Mediterranean in Europe. One interesting fact is that the Republic of Dubrovnik was the first state to recognize the independence of the USA. The Republic of Dubrovnik was abolished by French Marshal Marmont in 1808. A day trip to the island of Lokrum is an essential part of a visit to Dubrovnik. This small green bit of paradise is located only 10 minutes away by boat. And is a favorite excursion spot among Dubrovnik enthusiasts. Lokrum is a protected nature park with a botanical garden full of exotic Mediterranean and tropical plants. According to legend, upon his return from the Third Crusade, King Richard the Lionheart of England survived a shipwreck near Lokrum. And as a token of gratitude, gave 100,000 ducats to Dubrovnik, which were then used to build a basilica. Unfortunately, it was destroyed in a catastrophic earthquake that hit Dubrovnik in the 17th century. Later on, however, a new richly decorated cathedral was built atop its foundation. The Adriatic Sea is one of the calmest and safest of the world's seas for sailing. And to see that it stays that way, companies like SeaHelp watch over the sea using their fleet of fast yellow powerboats to come to the aid of sailors 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, regardless of weather conditions. My name is Josip Tomasic and I'm Sea Help Captain in Vazor Beach. Josip, would you say that uh, sailing in Croatia is safe? Uh, sailing in Croatia is safe, uh, just you need to uh, look on a weather forecast and uh, just you need to, to take care of the maps. Help covers the entire Adriatic from its bases along the coast. It is recommended that one becomes a member, which ensures a wide array of complementary services in the event of an accident such as towing, delivery of spare parts, jump starting, fuel service, untangling propellers, transportation of crew, and many other. In this episode, we will explore one of the most beautiful marinas on the Adriatic. It is located in a deep, naturally protected bay, in which one can find the ruins of numerous villas and summer houses of the nobility of the Republic of Dubrovnik. My name is Mato Frankovic and I'm director of ACI Marina Dubrovnik. ACI Marina Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik is really beautiful and specific for many reasons. Yes, it is. First of all, we are one of the biggest uh, marinas in uh, ACI chain, mm -hmm. and uh, first with the profit, of course. So uh, we possess 380 birds in the sea and 140 birds on a dry dock. Also, a very important thing is that we have a 60 ton uh, travel lift mm -hmm. and 130 ton travel lift. Uh, which uh, take us uh, on a big scale of yes. uh, services on a dry dock. Yes, and you have many other services which is almost impossible to find in other marinas. 
considering, with us. <laughs> yes. considering other services, mm -hmm. first we have a very big swimming pool, mm -hmm. which uh, our guests uh, like very much. Yeah. Uh, other services, uh, we have mechanical services, uh, three different types of ser mechanical services. So, so we have uh, cleaning services in Marina. Mm -hmm. Also, we have uh, tennis courts, tennis courts. Yes. Uh, children's playground, children's like playground as well. Uh, we have a very big uh, parking space for all clients that are coming in Marina. Uh, mostly our clients are uh, clients that are coming with the planes, but for all others, mm -hmm. our big parking space is available for mm -hmm. them. Near the marina, we find the headwaters and the mouth of the shortest river in Europe, only 300 meters long. Because of this river, the salinity of the sea is lower at the marina, which is especially favorable for ship parts. This is also a specific area when it comes to nature because it's a mixture of salt water and uh, uh, fresh water. Yes. Because you have the shortest river in Europe here. Yeah, there Tell is a river. There it. is a river Ombla next to the mm -hmm. marina, which is the shortest river mm -hmm. in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, fresh water, sea water mixture is uh, very good for all the boats mm -hmm. because uh, all the things and parts that usually stay underneath the boats and stick underneath the boats in uh, natural in uh, sea waters mm -hmm. are not going to happen over here. So mostly the boats after one year when we lift them uh, up on the shore, they are mostly clean. Yes, and you were, uh, your marina was rewarded many times. This marina was rewarded for the last five years as the best marina in Croatia, up to 450 birds. Mm -hmm. We possessed Blue Flag Marina for already 17 years in the row. Oh, congratulations. Thank you very much. That would be all and we wish you a very successful season. Thank, Thank you very you. much. The greatest number of five-star hotels in Croatia are found in Dubrovnik. One hotel in particular stands out at first glance, due to its fantastic view from the sea, and also because sailors can dock their ships on the pier directly in front of the hotel. My name is Amir Tikrasha, I am hotel manager at Valamar Dubrovnik President Hotel. Amir, thank you for welcoming us in this really amazing hotel and beautiful surroundings. For a start, could you give us some technical details about the hotel capacity? Of course. Okay. Well, uh, at the moment we are here in the wellness terrace uh, mm -hmm. with our beautiful outdoor swimming pool. Mm -hmm. uh, hotel itself has 286 spacious and modern rooms, mm -hmm. five suites and one presidential suite. All rooms are facing sea. Uh, from Hotel from every corner is uh, overlooking the beautiful Elafiti Islands and our clear blue water. Do you have restaurants in a hotel and uh, our gastronomy, other services? Of yeah, course. our gastronomy mm -hmm. is uh, renowned mm -hmm. for uh, we have have received uh, numerous awards such as best breakfast award in 2007 and 2009 mm -hmm. and since and our that was even before your renovation of exactly. a hotel well a month ago we mm -hmm. organized uh, uh, what you might call a chef uh, summit summit exactly <laughs> we have a famous chef from Texas who came here and mm -hmm. we organized uh, uh, cook show between our chef and this famous chef from Texas. Uh, he prepared, of course, uh, meat dishes and our chef prepared Mediterranean. This is so, it was an interesting combination yes. for your guests, of course. Exactly. An interesting group of islands and reefs stretch from Dubrovnik to Pelješac Peninsula, called the Elafiti Islands. In the past, the three largest of these islands, Kolochep, Lopud and Chipan, were summer residences of many aristocratic families of the Republic of Dubrovnik. On these islands they had their luxurious summer houses, which are largely abandoned today. There are many wonderful bays, ideal for exploration and swimming in the untouched sea. These are also ideal locations to cast your anchor overnight. The 
Spanish's peninsula is very interesting and full of wonderful nature, as well as crystal clear sea. An ideal place for sailing and swimming. Orebich is known for the many captains who sail the sea of the world on the sailing ships of the Republic of Dubrovnik. My name is Milena Gregoniakara and I'm curator of the Merit Museum of Orebich. Milena, the city of Orebich has really amazing history. With the 3033, you know, the Dubrovnik Republic bought whole area, Spanish mm -hmm. Peninsula, and that was the first contact of his inhabitants with the sea, you know, they just sailed on the Dubrovnik flot. Mm -hmm. So, later with the 1865, they established a Merti Society for Spanish Peninsula, mm -hmm. and that was a very clever idea for that time, you know, that was one kind of the advanced um, shareholding co company. Mm -hmm. And the proof that it was a good idea was in 1875, when in Norwich and surrounding area there was about 90 sailing ships, 45,000 tow, 2,000 seamen, and 250 captains. Yes, so this is Orebich's captain's town, in yeah, fact. Yeah, that's why. And we can well see known. that by the beautiful palaces that they built here. Yeah, yeah they Because did. at the time, captains were rich, we have rich, to say. Yeah. And also shipbuilders. Yeah, famous shipbuilders were here, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. shipbuilders were here, but uh, I, I must say that at uh, that time, the Orebich was the second strongest maritime center in this part of the Mediterranean area, after Trieste in, in Italy. Really? They say that you can get to know the past of a place, especially if you visit the local cemetery, which guards many untold stories. And we are now in a beautiful graveyard, yeah. which is called Captain's Graveyard. Yeah. We are interested especially in this tomb because uh, it's connected with a beautiful love story. One of the many famous family that was in Orbich was family Mimbelli. Baldo was the last member of this family mm -hmm. and when he was traveling through Russia he met a beautiful Russian girl and he fell in love immediately. Yes. So he, that was the love on the first side. He wanted to marry the girl, you know. But the parents didn't like the idea, you know, because... She was a common girl. Yeah, she yes, was a common girl. And they were kind girl, of poor aristocracy, girl, yes. Mm -hmm. And with different religious yes. relations. So mm -hmm. if he can't marry the girl he wants, then he won't be mar married ever. Mm -hmm. And finally he kept his promise, you know. Yes. Uh, when the parents died, they died in Trieste. Yeah. He he uh, brought, brought his bodies here and he carried them three days and three nights with sarcophagus here. Mm -hmm. He ordered from the famous Croatian artist Ivan Rendic yes, to build Croatian for him artist, yeah. a great this sculptor, mausoleum, yes. to build this mausoleum and to make this sculpture of yes. his love. It's beautiful. Yes. And she holds in her hand a jack mm -hmm. and the water flows and it symbolizes the end of life. That was then for Mimbelli's family. Mm -hmm. So he kept his promise. Yes. Due to its fantastic climate and winds which often blow down the Pelletschutz Channel, Vigan has become one of the most popular destinations for enthusiasts of wind and kite surfing. My name is Alex Komochar. I'm the co-owner of the Water Donkey Windsurfing and Kitesurfing Center here in beautiful Vigan, Croatia. Alex, first of all, we love the atmosphere in your club, Water you. Donkey. Thank we you. love the name too. <laughs> How come it's we Water Donkey? Well, a uh, donkey is a true symbol of <laughs> the region Dalmatia. Yes. So we came up with the idea to have a donkey doing water sports or like a water donkey. <laughs> Our symbol is the donkey, kite surfing or windsurfing, so... Yes, so only proceed. Tell us about the club and yeah. the activities that you have here. Well, the club is here about mm -hmm. six years. Yeah. We have all kinds of water sports, uh, mainly mm -hmm. kite surfing school mm -hmm. and uh, windsurfing school, mm -hmm. windsurfing and kite surfing equipment rental. We have kayaking, bike rental, yes. stand-up paddling, it's getting very popular. Uh, you have many people that come here that are interested. Do they know about Vegan as the one of the best spots, two of the best spots in Croatia, yeah. one of them is Vegan, yes. It's for sure one of the windiest spots uh, mm -hmm. with a very beautiful surrounding. Uh, mm -hmm. People 
they slowly start to get to know it. When uh, you go out, for example, and suddenly there's no wind, what happens then? You well, take care of the Yeah, people. we take care of the, because here is a channel, the currents mm -hmm. are always strong, you have the wind, so we try to have a very efficient uh, rescue system. We have several boats, several people who, if some problem, they immediately go and rescue the students. Yeah, so no, no problem danger, at all. Of course, no, no danger, danger, no danger. Beautiful surroundings. No, sh yeah, yeah, no sharks, only dolphins <laughs> in the water. <laughs> only dolphins. Very beautiful surroundings. Do you get yeah. to see them a lot? Yeah, here, they dolphins? come all the time very close to the students. So Really? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. In the immediate vicinity of Orevic is a beautiful camp which receives many awards and recognitions every year. Within the camp, there is a diving center, which lets visitors dive in an exceptionally interesting location, only 100 meters from the shore. Antonio, your family runs family business here for a long time, and also you have a diving club for a long time, probably longer. Yes. Yes, about, <laughs> then you live. <laughs> yes, about 24 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, here is so interesting. We have uh, many locations. Mm -hmm. One of the best location is the old wreck ship. Mm -hmm. It's here uh, 31 years. Mm -hmm. uh, ship and, was mm -hmm. uh, about uh, 100, 100 meters long? long. Yes, it's not so deep. The uh, maximum is 12 meter. Yes. yes. So beginners can uh, Begin go there. Yes, yes, and yes. See yes. The shipwreck, yes. And we have also another interesting location like mm -hmm. walls with uh, lobsters and uh, another fish. But you don't Big. touch anything. No, 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 no. Only <laughs> looking watching, and yes. watching, yes. <laughs> and Enjoying. diving, yes. And also we, uh, uh, we make a discovery dive for people who want yes. just to try for first time. In the 13th century, there was a great sea battle in the Pelletes Channel, in which the captain of the galleon, Marco Polo, was imprisoned. Over 60 ships were sunk in the course of the battle. On the sea floor, divers can still observe the remains of ship anchors, cannons and amphoras. Benishutz is known for its top quality red wines with a characteristic taste and aroma. The most famous are Dingac, Plavac Mali and Postup varieties. In numerous wine cellars one can sample wines and buy bottles of wine as memorabilia or souvenirs. My name is Mato Vjolic Matushko and I am wine producer for Benishutz. You have been in uh, wines and the winery business for all of your life. So you are the best person, the expert, to tell us a story about the most important sort of grapes that grow here. Here is the homeland of Plavac Mali. We are now in half an island, Pelješac, mm -hmm. in the area of Dingac, where he gives us the best what he can give in the normal view. We have seen that this position, Dingac, is in fact really specific and the island of Pelešec is uh, the peninsula in fact of Pelešec is really specific. Uh, is it difficult to cultivate grapes in this area? Uh, but it's hard to cultivate a grape, not so difficult. Mm -hmm. If you are healthy and if you are young it's not difficult. <laughs> uh, the position is uh, special because here wine grape sun touch free time. First time directly from the sun shining, mm -hmm. second time is a reflection of the sea, and uh, third time is because of special kind of land who have a lot of little stones, and the, the reflection of the land is also. That means that wine grape have touched sun free time. Along with top quality wines, Belichat is known for its delicious cuisine. In a nice restaurant within a small hotel in Orebic, we will learn about the specialties of this area. This stone building, which is over 500 years old, was St. Stepan's Church. The building was long abandoned and forgotten, until it was recently renovated and transformed into a beautiful small boutique hotel in real captain style. 
My name is Adriana Mikulic and I work as a sales manager in Boutique Hotel Adriana. Adriana, we are in the kitchen of the best restaurant in Orebic, which is called Old Captain. Yes, so here, are ma uh, he here is making all, uh, all dishes which are people trying. They are making from uh, local traditional uh, meals mm -hmm. and people prefer eat uh, gr uh, fish from grill, mm -hmm. but uh, we prefer this traditional local uh, octopus dish, mm -hmm. dish octopus buzara. This so is really unusual. I've yes. never heard that octopus is prepared on buzara. Our viewers already know that buzara is something specific that we like in Croatia a lot. <laughs> uh, yes, so we make it uh, with uh, garlic, uh, mm -hmm. olive oil, uh, red wine post uh, named Postup, mm -hmm. uh, octopus of course, uh, yes. sherry tomato, salt, pepper and we serve it with polenta. On Pelješac there are no marinas or fuel station for boats and the nearest marina is 6 kilometers away from Orebic in the city of Korčula on the island bearing the same name. My name is Markus Kukandic. I'm manager of ACI Marina in Korčula. Marko, we are in ACI Marina Korčula. Yes which is situated in a beautiful spot, we have to say. But first, I'll tell us some technical details, information for... First, I wish you welcome here Thank in Korčula. Yes, we are in AC Marina Korčula. How you see, we are in the center of the town. Mm -hmm. That is one positive side of Marina, that our guests mm -hmm. can sit on the boat and for a few some meters mm -hmm. see the beautiful old town. Yes. Marina Korčula is most transit marina. We have about 60-65 boats with the all-year contracts. Mm -hmm. All other capacity we use for the yeah. transit. Mm -hmm. What's mean transit? Transit means that mm -hmm. the guests arrive, arrive today, during mm -hmm. the day, mm -hmm. spend maximum one, two days in Korčula and going forward. Yes. That is our core business, mm -hmm. transit. And during the, the season, we have about 10,000 boats in, in transit. Yes. You also can accept mega yachts. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How you can see, we have outside anchoring mm -hmm. place, outside mm -hmm the main, main uh, key, pier, mm -hmm. pier. Mm -hmm. and now you can see boat about 30 meters, mm -hmm. but to the 50, meet, to the 50 meters boat we can okay. anchor in here without any problem using our infrastructure, it's yes. mean our anchor mm -hmm. and we have enough electricity, water for the boat to the maximum 50 meters. Within the marina, there is a great a la carte restaurant where you can enjoy local specialties and delicacies, as well as shops selling marine equipment, household items and a gift shop. 